What is going on guys, Pog here and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode number 212 and let's get on with the shoutout for today. So the shoutout for this episode goes to Panda Plays 1297 who when I left a comment saying, Hi Pog, I just found your channel. I love it. You're amazing. Your videos inspire me to make amazing world. Sadly, I'm thinking about demolishing my house in my world, but I will make a good world. On the bright side, your diamond method has helped me. I have just started my world two days ago and have 44 diamonds. Well, thank you so much, Panda, for writing this. I want to go ahead and welcome you to my beautiful world as well to the shutout room. So that being said, guys, let's get on into today's video, which is uh, continuing into getting some more iron and gold and diamonds. It doesn't matter what it is. And as you guys can see, I no longer have this iron stuff here uh, because I turned them into rails. So I've got all these rails now. I found some more mine cards. I also brought all of the um, all of the materials. I guess most of the materials, like cobblestone and things like that. So I kind of organized uh, this part of the uh, mining entrance, and so there isn't a lot of things other than mine cards and and uh, andesite and maybe even redstone. I might have uh, taken or left. I don't know how to how to remember. One second, I'm gonna quickly adjust something here. I just realized something. I didn't even plug in my uh, headphones to my controller. I was like, I can't hear any audio. Well, that was not a smart thing of me. That was not. That was me not being smart. I guess is the proper way to say it. There we go. All right, guys. So as you can see now, we do have the end side here. I do keep it for the continuation of these uh, mining entrance. Obviously, we need that materials there. I also got minecarts so that I don't have to walk a lot and things like that. So I'm gonna just quickly grab this. Okay, I guess I didn't have to grab that, but um, I'll go ahead and break that one and store it in the chest, the bottom one. So pretty much like the extra materials. If I come down here without a torch, I don't have to go all the way up. But extra rail just in case. And uh, I've got the doors, some armor, and and you guys get the point. Just something that um, that uh, you know is just there. I guess I should say. I also took all the, um, most of the, I guess I took all of it, I don't know, I don't remember properly, but, uh, I think I did take, yeah, no, oh my god, I just throw my ambitions for a shovel, I'm so smart, uh, but yeah, so I, I thought of, uh, whoa, why not to actually come down here and, uh, find a cave and also strip mine, because, um, that might be one of the best ways to, uh, properly get this done, or get this going, so I'm gonna also put a torch there, alright. So it seems to be that these, wow, why? Why are these so dark? Oh, huh, interesting, okay. Well, it seems like these parts have not been yet mined properly. So what I'm going to do is um, just, I guess, start mining this side here, you guys. And uh, so that um, it's like, if I find a cave, I'll go ahead and continue exploring there, but mainly here, I'm not gonna get any redstone. I have plenty of redstone. I know you need redstone for the, um, you know, power rails to work, which I use redstone blocks because I felt like they are the best when it comes to looks and ease of use and things like that. Uh, but I have a lot of redstone blocks, so um, I'm not really into going to be wasting time to collect redstone uh, when I can always come back later and collect the redstone. Same thing with coal. I do have a lot of coal, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. And then we need to like kind of move on here, go down like this. I'm gonna break this and see. Yeah, nothing really. Uh, but yeah, so we're just gonna. Ah, oh, there we go. This is what I needed. So we're just gonna dig like this and uh, hope to find a lot of iron for sure. And then I'll have the iron there so I can see how many we have collected so far, or I have collected so far. Which in this case, more iron. Nice. All right. So this is kind of a yeah. Never dig the block you guys are standing on in case you are new to the channel. That's something I always say because of the fact that we do not know what's underneath it. Because it could have been an iron or a diamond and then suddenly you dig it and right into lava or like right into a ravine. Well, I guess not really a ravine, but anything can really happen. So be careful, guys, when you are... Oh, God! No, 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 no. Oh, my God. That scared me so bad. Wow. But yeah, anything can happen. It's funny how I said that in it. A creeper drops from a ravine. <laughs> uh, speak of the devil, I guess. Wow. 
Um, yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. So we're just gonna continue on, I guess, all the way to the end point, and or if we find, uh, you know what we did? I'm, I'm gonna get lapis actually. Why not? I mean, I don't really use lapis blocks, but uh, they're good for enchantments. Plus, they're not really gonna be uh, taking much of my inventory space here. Um, okay, you know what? Maybe I could possibly go and explore this here. Doesn't look like we have explored this ever. Or, I guess it is at that end. And if the other side has been explored, then obviously I have explored this side. Yeah, so um, I'm just gonna, I guess, continue on mining, which is um, this side right over here. So we're just gonna continue on. Another thing I'll do is I'll eat this Rotten Flesh just to, you know, save some inventory space there and here and there, I should say. And um, I get I gotta watch a lot of the places, a, a lot of the corners that I go into, because I don't know if there's gonna be any creeper. Because I can hear a zombie right now. I don't know where it is though. It's probably somewhere above me. Always watch your back for sure. And have I ever explored the, this? Yep. I'd say so. Let me see. I mean, there's like the staircase way of getting up, so I, I would assume I have. Oh, hello, villager thingy. Wow, two of them. When we need one, it's so tough to find one. And then when we don't want one, they're just here. Hello. Thank you very much. Is it, was that a creeper there? Wow, it just came. Okay, it's, a, it's like a creeper time, I guess, honestly. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna continue on. I don't want to be in the place that I've already explored for sure. So we're just gonna continue on. Cause I mean, it's not bad. We still find like 14 iron. But I know one thing we need to find is diamonds. Like surprisingly enough, uh, we didn't find any diamonds in the previous episode. But th that's probably because of the fact that I did. Um, one of the parts has been have been explored. So um, yeah, there wasn't a really. A way for me to uh, fully explore the entire strip mine and somewhere here there could be lava I mean diamonds because of the lava because the more lava you see around you sometimes it means there's diamonds around you so I hear water so it could indicate that there is some sort of cave Diamonds, there you go. I knew we are going to find them. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that snake and start collecting this because I don't want to... Uh... That's quite a bit of diamonds there. I'm going to use a fortune pickaxe at the end, obviously. Just so that I get the most out of it. Dig around it just to be sure you collected everything. But yeah, six pieces. And, you know, that could turn anywhere from you know, 12 at least, or I don't know. Depends how lucky we are with the Fortune 3 pickaxe. And I've been also working on another project, actually, that I forgot to show you guys, which I guess I'll show you in the next episode. Um, and it, it, used the, it uses a lot of um, diamonds, blocks. Which is a very special thing for me, okay? So I had to build a new thing, but it, it means a lot. So it ha I, I decided to use diamond blocks. And I think a lot of you guys will appreciate that. So I think I'm standing at around 9 blocks of diamond so far uh, after that project. So I used about a stack and a half, I think. I think it was like around 80, yeah, about 80 diamond blocks I used for that project. Just kind of crazy. 80 blocks of diamonds, that is... Wow. It's kind of hard to take in, but it, oh well. I mean, I, I have all the tools I ever wanted, and, um, you know, it's just diamonds at the end of the day. We're going to find more. We just found like six diamond doors, so it's not really a huge deal. And we're finding even more iron, which is amazing. Just kind of want to look around it just to make sure everything is good. 
And this seems to be a nice cave that I could go and say hi to. Except it is a dead end. Really. Thank you very much. Well, I guess I might have already um, looked there because I did explore this side. Some redstone there. I have a feeling there might be diamonds uh, ahead of us. But we're not being so lucky finding gold. Again, the gold isn't really a huge deal. I feel like the best way to find gold is going into like the um, underwater temples, the ocean temples. I feel like that's literally where I get the most gold. I feel like it, there's like eight blocks of gold every single one of them. And I've already explored four of them, so there should be, I think, another four or five left that, um, that I've noticed. I don't know. Not too sure how many there are. But I know there's a couple that I haven't explored, but I've seen where they are. And that's all the ones I saw currently, so I don't know if there's even further more on my way building the uh, minecart station that goes around the world. The crazy part is, uh, next to those uh, coals, there could be a diamond or gold. But um, I guess on our way back, we might be lucky enough to find whatever there could have been there. Because most of the stuff will be continuing to two blocks away, where we'll be digging backwards. I wonder how far close are we from the endpoint, I wonder, so let's look. Uh, not so far, actually, which is good, which is good. Uh, and more iron, nice. Alright, so, so far 34 pieces, which is not bad. And, you know, we, we found diamonds, where if I was just exploring a cave, it wouldn't be this easy to find diamonds. Like, there wouldn't be, like, guaranteed to find the diamonds, such as right here, so. And that one. See, like, if I were to, uh, you know, mine that, it would have, um, I would have found it. But two blocks away, I ended up uh, finding it later, which is now, I guess I should say. But yeah, so far we got 10 ores, and I'm, I'm not going to end the episode unless we actually go um, all the way upstairs to the potion room and um, use a fortune pickaxe for this, just so that we know how many of anything we got. And this is supposed to be the um, end point, and yes it is indeed, so here's what I'm going to do. I feel like there was so many emeralds in here, you guys. I feel like there was a couple up standing up, holding like up there. And I wonder if there's any chests here. Yeah, because I was digging for emeralds here. That's why there's like this crazy digging going on. Yep. Oh, wow, there's a cave. Okay, you know what? I feel like next time we might be able to explore that. I don't want to go too much off the um, objective that we are here for. Well, that's an ender chest. What am I even looking at? I don't need to look at that. Um, no, I don't think there's any double chest on this side. Maybe the double chest is the other side, which I think it was empty. Yeah. All right. So I guess we're going to just dig back and then come back to that cave exploring later. Or I guess I could just possibly like go in, sneak around and see if it's even uh, a big one to explore. Because obviously, I don't see a reason to explore it right now. So here we go. I'm going to take my sword out. Okay, so, uh, I mean, it does kind of look like partially explored, unless this above part hasn't been. Okay, you know what? This could be a nice place to explore, to be honest. Yep, this seems to be going down, down, and yep, all right. Yes, we'll be exploring this in the next episode for sure. This place is beautiful, and I cannot wait to um, explore it. And I guess we don't even have to dig or anything. We could just, like, walk our way here. Kind of thing. So, yeah. Alright. So. Apparently, I decided to do that there. And here's where I came from. And we're just going to dig back. And see um, what we'll find. Alright, so I'm not going to use the andesite. I feel like I have a lot of smoke stones, so it's not really 
a huge deal to use the smooth stone. Okay, that 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 was a lot of uh, smooth stone I had to place that I didn't expect to place, but um, it is what it is. Just kind of always watch around you guys. You don't know if there's a creeper in that one tiny place hiding, so you don't want to encounter one when you're not prepared for it. I guess I wasn't really prepared for it. I wasn't even holding my sword and things like that, but um, we don't know what's really gonna happen. So more coal. Again, there could be like diamonds behind this. So if you guys want, you can always collect everything because they could lead to another thing. So I, I just choose not to because all I need, I don't really need diamonds. I feel like nine blocks is still plenty. I have plenty of tools as well. So it's not like I really need diamonds right now. What I need right now is iron and gold and I don't want to waste any time. I just want to collect those um, and more diamonds. See, I'm telling you guys, this is my favorite way to find diamonds. I feel like it's the easiest easiest diamond finding method if you guys haven't seen my video where i show you guys the best way to find diamonds in my opinion <gasps> never do what i just did don't take the block you're standing on but yeah if you haven't seen that make sure you guys go ahead and check it out um i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description actually if i do end up remembering it properly enough i'll have a link in the description if i don't let me know in the comments below and i'll go ahead and update it uh, because sometimes i do end up forgetting things so but yeah we're gonna continue on here and uh I don't know why, but I'm so excited to explore that cave we just found, I should say, because I bet I did find that before, I just didn't want to explore it because of the fact that I had a full inventory, like, similar to this. And so that's what I'm saying, in the next episode I could just run there, rather than um, mining my way there, which will almost use most of my inventory space, or I could mine my way there, and then put it in the ender chest, because there's a couple ender chests there, so... I don't know, I'll figure it out by the time I start filming the next episode, so let's continue on, and uh, I don't know if I'll find more diamonds, but I know I'm having very much luck right there, finding the siren, because again, this, this is all I need right now. It's crazy for me um, saying this, but I can't believe that the amount of iron I had is still not enough, and it's only like helped me to complete it halfway, so it, it's kind of crazy. And again, what I'm going to do is probably when we finish with this exploring things and, and stuff like that, I'm going to take out the green beacons, the greenhouse beacon um, iron and just kind of leave it as a speed one because that thing uses so much iron block, probably about two stacks and we can turn those into, um, into uh, rails. So I feel like that will be such an amazing thing to do because I mean it will take us forever I feel like to find that much iron again. Because I don't want to just be mining. Because I mean, as much as I enjoy doing minings, uh, I really want to finish this project. And we can always do minings to uh, rebuild the beacon, let's say. So I really, really want to finish this um, track the rail system project, which I started a while ago. But when I took a trip on it, I was like, that's just beautiful. And again, more diamonds. Again, this is amazing, you guys. Look at the amount of diamonds we're finding here. And again, do not dig the block you are standing on for sure. It's not a smart idea. And nothing here. I guess I could just nicely go, continue my way, I should say. And we found 20 pieces of diamond ore. But if you guys, um, if you guys have a fortune pickaxe, um, I'd say it's probably better to use a silk touch and then later do it because another thing you can do so if you don't need the diamonds right now and sometimes you're short on experience you can actually just take your fortune pickaxe by that time and then go ahead and um i guess break them up such so as lapis lazuli you don't have to break this you can leave them as ores and then you can only do them when you really need it kind of thing so and this probably is not enough for me to collect the whole thing yes okay so obviously we don't need mushrooms. Iron is the most important thing for me right now. And then and then we'll go ahead and do this so that I know how many we have. Wow, nice, even even more. This is really working out, you guys. Look, look at the amount of iron we're finding. I mean, it's not really working the best for gold, but we did find gold in the previous episode, so. If we find more gold, that'll be amazing. Again, it's not like I'm really needing gold, but we are gonna need gold. I don't think all the underwater temples are enough for gold. We will need to find gold for sure. And some 
crazy things going on here. I do have to repair this pickaxe. I guess we can do that in the next episode as well. Because, uh, yeah, this thing is probably going to be just enough to exit this place. Oh, what did I just do? Put that there. And then continue backwards. I hear a zombie, so we might have to fight them or something. Oh, more iron. Nice. Guys, this is going so well. I love this episode so far. Found so many iron. That thing is get rid of the um, the bone. And I feel like this shovel has fortune on it. Yep, that's probably how I'm getting this amount of flint. Because I find that to be crazy. I never got that amount of flint before, so that's kind of cool. Did I take the iron? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. I kind of got confused after throwing like the bone and things like that away. Now we can just eat. Worst case scenario, I think I'll take 64 stacks, a stack of uh, smoke stone over the food, so I could get rid of the food. Another thing I can do. Thankfully, I got the minecart with me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Do not do that. I don't know why. It just made me jump out of my chair. This thing. Scared me like because I feel like I'm wearing these headphones and it like make this audio of me getting shot come out of the right side and It just scared me like it was like unexpected the, the word is And uh, we'll get rid of The arrows and then cobblestone for sure I feel Like is another easy thing we can get rid of because there's like only two pieces And we, I wasn't even collecting these really Wow, alright, so I guess I'll do this to you. That. I mean, coal is also another thing. I know it's a nice coal lowers, but I feel like we're almost there. Yeah. No, it's not a huge deal. Like, we just need to get rid of the cobblestone thing. And get rid of these. Three piece counts, and then get rid of those. And I feel like we should be almost there, which is awesome. See, like how the iron led me into this coal. This coal could lead lead me into a diamond. So. That's what I mean. Make sure you guys collect them if you need them. I honestly don't need it. If I was looking for diamonds, I would have never left that coal alone. I would actually get it. But right now, like I said, I'm not looking for diamonds. It's nice to find it, but I'm more into iron and gold. Wow. And more diamonds, which is beautiful. Again, I'm not saying I don't want them. Otherwise, I wouldn't collect them. But um, it's not like why we're doing this. It's not a diamond week. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And here I am. All right, so just so that I know which way to go, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this torch here so that in the next episode, I will know which way to go. And then we can just um, head back, I guess. And grab the fortune pickaxe, which I think is actually the end of the zone. Possibly do it right here. Um, so let's kind of uh, put some of these stuff away. So I'm going to use this as like a smooth stone chest. Just kind of put all the smooth stone in there. Like so. Alright. And then I'll put the end aside where it's supposed to go. Then all of these other crazy things will go right over here. Okay. Nicely done. The iron is amazing. This is, this is exactly what I, what I wanted. Okay. So here's what I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab the um, ultimate pick, which is this one. All right. And then I'll just do this here, which has obviously fortune here. 
So fortune 3, efficiency 4, and breaking 3, and it also has mending 1, which ends up repairing the pickaxe, which it should do it right now. So that one just gave me 1. So that one gave me 4. So we have 5 so far. I'm just gonna go mine this one. Whoa, nice. 7. Nice, nice, nice. That was like 2, so not bad. That one gave me a bit more. We'll go mine this one. Just 1. 4, I think, from that one. I feel like if we, if we go too fast, it gives me only one, as you can see. Wow, why are you doing this? Come on, there you go. Okay. Nice. Oh, nicely done, okay. I don't remember how many I had, but uh, <laughs> we just literally found 49 pieces of diamonds from there, especially with the fortune pickaxe, which is nice. And what I'll do is quickly, I'll convert these into blocks, which should not be that hard. And there we go, five more blocks, and I think I only had nine. Yep, so throwing this in will be 14, and then we also have another four piece there. Um, also, I can just quickly get these out of the way because why not again they're always repairing it which is a good thing and we'll see how many of these we get also gives us some experience levels for sure and here we go as you can see the pickaxe is no longer even breaking it went out and repaired itself and things like that which is awesome and here I am with all of this crazy amount of stuff, which in return would be, let's see, turn all these into blocks, redstone into blocks, and also the coal I can really do that. Oh, give me the ultimate pick. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna throw this away. And uh, in return, guys, we did find a lot of things in this episode. I mean, having all this iron, which is just beautiful. I, I feel like we have like 105 here, if my math is right. Mm, yeah, I guess, yeah. But, um, <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a like and also check out my sister's channel and also my second channel, the, the car channel that I started. And, um, that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.